So I have a snow shovel here that rather than toss it out and let this ore use this up so that this actually grinds away. I'm going to replace this metal edge with a little bit of just steel bar that I have. So our first step will be to drill out these rivets that is, cut another piece that's equally like that, drill holes in those to match the existing holes, and rivet a new piece on. Let's get to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill these out using a, a drill bit that matches roughly the same size here. Just enough to pierce it so I can knock the rivets out. So now that we've got the rivets all drilled out, I'm just going to take a screwdriver or a punch and push these back through. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to take this flat steel that I have here, and I'm just going to take a marker and match it to the link. This is just a piece of flat steel that I got at a home center. So I want it to be the length of this right here so it lines up with it. Mark where I need to cut it. It doesn't need to be perfect. I'll need to cut it across there, but really if we angled it a little, it would be better. Let's match this angle here, you know, like, kind of like this. Doesn't need to be perfect. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. We can do any trim up afterwards, but that's pretty much what I do is something like that. I'm going to mark for rivet holes. There's where I need to drill. I'll drill these holes out. So here we are here. We're just going to put a little bit of oil down so we don't smoke our bit. Hey guys, I'm on a march to 1,000. As you see right there is my current number. If you want to help me out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All the tools that you see me using in this video will be linked down below in the description. So I've got my rivets and I've got my flat steel. I wiped it all off and everything. And the holes line up pretty much. It's a little bit off and I did that on purpose on some of these headlands which are really close. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to I'll start right here. And what I need to do is work this rivet in. Now the hole is the exact same size. It's going to make it a little tough to push in there, but you can get it pushed in. And I'm actually going to cheat a little here. I'll actually make the rivet down itself to push the rivet through. Now I've got the rivet all the way through now, right? Now I'm just going to start using this top rivet gun to snap this guy deeper. Of course, it's going to fight me all the way because I don't have a good angle to do this and still show you guys. Eventually this gets to the point where it pops it off and that rivet is popped off and on the back side here as you can see it leaves this thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mash that down so that I'm going to split it on the edge and I'm going to fold it over so it creates a nice smooth surface and helps to hold it even more. Now we'll do that to the rest of these and hopefully I can get these pushed through without having to 
much effort, but I have a feeling I might have to work a little bit on them. Last step we need to do is to handle the way these pop rivets pull through here. Well, what you missed here, apparently I took a picture instead of a, instead of a uh, video was basically I just took a piece of railroad track or any hard piece of metal and I just smashed these rivets flat on the bottom side so it wouldn't snag as you're scraping. And it doesn't do much damage to them over here, it flattens them a little more, mushrooms them out, but that just makes sure that the plastic is even more stable. So this should allow the snow shovel to continue to be used. And instead of wearing down the plastic, it will now wear down this metal and probably break some rivets eventually, but I can always replace it. But now I have to scrape it, get a nice, good, clean head. It will break up snow and other stuff. And the last final thing I'm going to do is where these edges are here, I'm just going to hit them with a file. The reason why I want to do that is because they're a little sharp. I don't want to get really hurt. So. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. There we go. So now you can see right here, this edge has been rebanded. Yeah, it's pooched up a little bit right there, but that's just the nature of this plastic because it's an old shovel. But now it has a nice good edge for scraping. It's flat. This bar won't rust any more than what was there, and hopefully it'll last actually longer. It'll allow me to keep using this without wearing away the snow shovel. I've had snow shovels that the plastic just wears away, and I decided not to do that and actually just get some flat steel to repair that bar that had ground away before the snow shovel started getting damaged. Hopefully you got value out of this video you did, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Subscribe. I do other repairs as well as woodworking if you enjoy that type of material. Over here, YouTube believes you want to see this. If you do, go ahead and click it. 